And we're back. When last we left you, we had just pulled out our decision diamonds into our screen, and now we have our questions put into each one. It's time to look at some of the other things that we're going to pull into our flowchart. We're going to need a start end. I'm going to put that up here on the top. Of course, start end in this case is you visiting or arriving at a zoo. So arrive at the zoo. And it could be, of course, a nature park. So we'll put in nature park. And what are we going to do when we get there? We're going to observe. So that's our starting point. We're going to make everything arranged all once we get all of our elements on our screen. Next thing we're going to look at is a statement result. And there's going to be two of these. The first statement result is, going, of course, going to be if you've answered a question and the answer is no, then the sustainability is in question. So we have to say may not be sustainable. And of course, if the answer is no, it may not be sustainable. But if we go through all of these questions and the answers are yes, then it may be sustainable. So we're going to duplicate this. We're going to pull it over to the other side just to get out of our way. We're going to edit this for it to maybe sustainable. So we have all of our elements, and now it's a question of arranging them. The arrangement um, is going to be a very top-down arrangement. So I'm going to move these down to the bottom just to move them out of our way. You notice how I can group select just by um, taking my mouse and clicking outside of any particular thing. I'm going to move these to the bottom. And I'm going to start with my first question. Does the zoo park look clean? Because that's the first thing you're going to observe when you come into this, OK? So you're going to arrive at the zoo park. When you mouse over any of these elements, you get this little green circle. And if you click and hold on the green circle, you can pull an arrow out. And if you pull an arrow to another green circle, they connect the two elements together. So you've arrived. The first thing that happens is you're going to ask yourself this question. And I'm going to pull up my may not be sustainable here. I'm going to pull it over here. And I'm going to connect this to my may not be sustainable. So notice my green circle to green circle. They're not really lined up well, so I can pull my may not be sustainable down to be the right level so that my arrow is Notice how it goes straight across. That's the neat thing about connecting green circles to green circles with an arrow. You've connected these things so that they, when you move them, the arrow will stay pointed to them. Now, that is the answer to a question. Does the zoo park look well cared for and clean? That would be our no answer. So if you click on your arrow, you can just type in the text for what the decision is, no means your zoo may not be sustainable. Yes, on the other hand, is going to be another question. So we're going to pull another question up. I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the connectors. Mouse over, green to green, create my arrow, green circle to green circle. Once my arrow is there, this is my yes decision tree. So now I'm down to my second question. And my second question, do the animals look well for, cared for and content? Well, let's create the no branch of this tree. Notice how I can go to one of these X points and get a connector green circle like that. And then I can connect my no, and I've got a nice flow. May not be sustainable is my end point there. My S yes point is another question. And this is the way this flowchart is designed. In each case, the yes point is another question, while the no point goes back to the same statement, the may not sustainable. So we'll go with our green circle again. We'll drag out our arrow. We'll find the green circle with the X on it up here on our may not be sustainable. We'll put it into place and we'll type in our no. 
we'll keep arranging to make sure we get our questions in. We are going to actually probably zoom out a little bit at this point just so that we can get the entire flow chart on this. The zoom out um, is right here under the 100%. I'm going to go to 75%. That's a little bit too small for me, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit, come back in a little bit more, and just center everything top to bottom so that I have the space I require. So we're going to do our next yes point. There's our little green arrow. Notice that I clicked on that instead of mousing over. Be careful of that because it does select the whole element. There's my yes. And now I'm doing my no. Green circle to green circle. Notice how easy it is to type in the text if I just keep the um, selection in place. Doing my last question now. Pull him down a little bit. And that's my yes. You can have a bit of separation between each one so that you have enough space for uh, everything to happen and for you to be able to see all of the arrows so you can follow your flowchart in the right direction. I can also do other things to make this work on my screen a bit better. I can hide uh, elements of the menu, um, but I'm going to see if I can just finish this off as it is. I have an extra maybe sustainable. Things go away simply by selecting them and um, deleting them is no big deal. So I'm going to create my no point here. My no point can't go on the bottom. I've run out of space, but it can go on the side. Notice how it automatically connects. And I'll put my last yes in place down here to see my flowchart uh, in its glory. So there you have it. You've created a flowchart decision making about whether or not your zoo is sustainable. There are other things we can do with this and we may um, have a little video showing you how to put some data points in there for further uh, research. Um, but it's a very uh, simple flowchart but it does do the job that you've asked it to do. Thank you very much for your interest this afternoon, and hopefully we'll talk to one another again soon.